It's been a while since we've had some clear skies. Hello everyone and welcome back to Amateur Astronomy and Storm Tracing. Thank you guys so much for joining me on this actually beautiful Saturday afternoon. Finally, our rain has left the area. We got a few clouds real far off in the distance here, but everything is forecasted to move out of the area here later, and I've got some big plans for tonight. The Orion Nebula is one of the most beautiful sides of the night sky, and it's actually one of the easiest to find as well. It's located just below Orion's belt, and in fact, it's bright enough that it can be seen with the naked eye if you're in dark enough skies, and you can really begin to see it even with a pair of binoculars. I only have one small problem tonight, and that's a 79% waxing moon that's going to be located pretty close to Orion. So my plan is to start with Orion. If that fails, then we'll move on to something else. Also tonight, I'm planning on playing with my new toy here. I just recently got this Canon 10 to 18 millimeter lens. I got this lens here to help out with a variety of things on the channel. I want you to do some very wide angle astrophotography and time lapses and things like that. So I've pretty well got things already set up here. I've got the mount pretty well balanced out, it seems like. I've also put a few attachments on my tripod here recently, mainly just some pieces of Velcro. That way I can stick my uh, battery for my dew heater on there, and I can also stick my timer on there instead of just hanging it at random places here on the mount. But sometimes I would be in the middle of a session, and I would come outside and the, uh, something had fallen off, and it had completely thrown off my phone alignment, thrown off my tracking and everything. So fingers crossed that everything works out perfectly tonight. Alright, so I've finally kind of got things set up here, and Ryan is just positioned just over my head right now. And thankfully, the moon is a little bit further away from Ryan than what I was initially anticipating, so that's going to help us out quite a bit. Now I want to attempt to set my focus this right. I always find Sirius, as you can see here on the frame, to be one of the best stars to focus on, as it's always one of the brightest ones in the sky. So it's always a pretty easy target to find in the viewfinder. You can see now it's pretty darn bloated, so I'm going to try and work on that a little bit. Now, fortunately, this Canon 70 300 millimeter lens isn't the absolute best thing on the market. So, we can see the Sirius is still somewhat bloated. I'm going to go ahead and try a few practice shots with this right here once I get M42 lined up in the frame and just kind of go from there. So, I'm currently popping off 40 shots at a minute and a half a piece. So, I'm going to get roughly an hour of data, hopefully at 1600 ISO. Now, I think I want to step it down to about 800 ISO, kind of pick up a little bit more of the detail around the coordinate of the nebula, and then that way at the end I kind of go in and stack everything together and kind of bring out details on, in both aspects. So we'll just kind of see what happens. Again, this is my first real shot at the Orion Nebula with some pretty cheap gear here, and I'm just excited to see what I can get. Now, fortunately, we've actually had some clouds move in from the southwest. I've kind of been keeping an eye on them on radar and it looks like they're just going to keep coming in heavier and heavier. And as you can see here, I actually took a picture of them kind of moving in and they're starting to cover up Orion, unfortunately. So it looks like I'm going to have to call it quits tonight. I have uh, went over there and checked my timer and I think I've got like something like 22 shots or something like that. So it's definitely the most data I've got so far on Orion. But for about, this is about the third time now I've tried it. <laughs> now nah, every time something goes wrong. So, unfortunately, this isn't going to be the time for a run, but I will go ahead and stack and process all these photos. I'm going to go ahead and do darks and all the flats and all that good stuff. Just kind of see what I can scrap up with them. So, it 
turns out the clouds interfered a little bit more with my pictures than I was actually anticipating. I had a few rounds of high clouds move through throughout the set. I ended up getting something like 35 pictures, I think, all together. And actually only a handful of those are unfortunately usable. So pretty much processing Orion so far has kind of been a huge pain. And unfortunately the final image is pretty overcooked, but it's a huge step forward overall my progress so far on M42. I have decided I'm finally kind of hitting the limits of the Canon 75 to 300 millimeter lens. As you can see in a lot of my images really, some of the stars are just way too bloated and I'm wanting to get something that's much tighter. So I'm actually kind of thinking about the William Optics Red Cat 51 that just recently came out. Time will tell though what direction I actually end up going in. Thank you guys so much for sticking around with me. I've got so much more planned and I'm really excited for the future of this channel. So thank you guys so much for watching and I hope you enjoy.